Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So here's a question AdMath students have been asking me a lot and that is, if we're preparing for paper one, should we only be solving paper ones for practice or should we be doing both? So the answer is you should be doing both. You should definitely be doing both the papers. In fact, if you've solved paper one so far only, then my suggestion is go back and solve all the paper twos as well. Why? If you look at the two papers, you'll notice that there is barely any difference, okay? The number of marks is the same, the pattern is the same, the number of questions also more or less is the same. So why do we have two papers? Well, we have two papers so that the syllabus can be divided, okay? So there's no guarantee that whatever questions that you've solved so far will be from the same set of topics that you will be tested on in May, June, 20, in your exam, basically, the upcoming exam. So why the whole idea is to divide the syllabus. So that's why it's important right now that you solve both the papers. Now, once, however, you guys are done with paper one, inshallah, hope it goes well, then I want you guys to let me know the topics that you were tested on so that we can sort of anticipate, not exactly, but like kind of anticipate the topics that we will have in paper two. Okay. Now, another question, and that is uh, how many past papers should we solve? Well, again, there's no magic number. However, one thing to keep in mind is that there was a change in syllabus in 2020. So my suggestion is that you start from 2022, obviously, then 2021, then 2020, then go back to 2022, do all the variants, and then come back to 2019. And when you're solving questions from 2019, remember to skip questions from three topics. Number one, sets and Venn diagram has been removed. Okay, it was removed, in fact, in 2020. Matrices, again, a topic that has been removed. And number three, relative velocity, okay? Relative velocity has been removed, not velocity components, okay? Or not the velocity that we still have in vectors. So that is still part of the syllabus. So yeah, I hope this video helps. Again, I hope you guys are making the best of the time that you have left. And that's it. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Allah Make sure to like this video and follow or subscribe for more.